Hi, welcome back. It's Susan again. Just um, showing you this version of a Christmas card I've made with this cute towel stamp. And uh, it is easy to make, so I thought we'd make a version of it. Still doing my tent fold, but one that you can post. So I've cut a piece of card after I put... Um, I printed on the Happy Christmas with the computer. I also made a mask using some acetate, which uh, is a circle measuring three and three quarter inches. So using some green ink, which is mint macaron, I'm going to lightly go round that mask with my blending brush trying not to get any ink because oh I am clumsy at the minute so trying to get that mask as, as centralised as I can to where I, I want my sentiment holding it down while you you work the brush around the mask not too hard just giving a gentle tickle with that brush because I am going to put another colour on top just to um, go round and brighten it up a little bit So I'm going to get my other green, which is uh, Cucumber Crush. And not using the mask this time, I'm just going to go around that circle that we've already made. Just to give um, a more blended edge to it. But I still wanted to keep the line, what the mask had done. So I've just popped my work onto a sticky mat to hold it still for me. And I've got a stamp on my block. Just placing it down. But oh dear, look what I've done. I'm going to go with it. Hopefully I'll be able to cover it up um, and nobody will know. So the ink that I'm using at the minute with that stamp is um, Shady Lane, I do believe it is. And that's a Versifying Clay. The actual stamp I'm using, it's from uh, Lavinia Stamps and it's out of a, a set called Vine Set. You get four um, foliage stamps in the set. Um, and I am going to use another one out of that set as well. I'm just turning that stamp round just to go round the other side. But I'm not going all over the circle. Just sort of making a crescent with it, just leaving a gap. I'm just going to put another one at the top. So popping my other stamp on, which is um, 
I don't really know what to call it. It, it is a, a another leaf, but I'm not really sure what it's called. And I'm stamping that out in verdant. Just here and there. And turn in the orientation with that as well. So bringing in my Misty, I'm going to use this vine stamp um, and it's just called Vine Branch. But I don't want to um, use it all. So I'm just going to place it down where I think I'd like it to be. Bearing in mind where my sentiment is as well. Now I'm going to do this in the uh, nocturne. I'm not stamping it all up and I'm just going to um, see where my placement is. Taking some ink off if I need to and I do. Having another look and when I'm ready I can place it down. Now my little owl is called Bijou and he's also from Lavinia Stamps in the UK. Now just seeing where I want to have him on that branch. And I'm also going to stamp Bijou in the black, the nocturne. I'm going to give him another ink in. And now it's time to do some uh, colouring. I 
So I've just pulled out some of my Inktense pencils, the watercolour pencils. And I'm just going to lay a few colours down. I've just pulled some out to see, um, I might use them, I might not. I might just use a few of them. So just laying that colour gently down. You don't need too much because when the water gets on them, it really brings the uh, watercolour to life. So I've just pulled out uh, another colour. Now I've also just got a black fine liner pen and I'm just going to add another little a twist of the branch so that it's through Bijou's claws. Just alternating some colour and popping some on the branches as well. Keeping it all tonal. And putting some green around his eye. So I've got my brushes and a uh, pot of water and I'm just going to swap this brush out I think. Always blotting the brush with the paper towel. You don't want to saturate the brush. Just as long as there's enough moisture to uh, move your pencil.
So the colours that I've used um, on Willow, oh, sorry, not Willow, the um, Bijou, um, the colours I've used is tan, Willow is the colour, and um, spring green for the eyes, also um, a sable brown, that's in the Inktense pencils. And as you can see, as soon as that moisture hits those pencils, it starts and and brings it all together, makes the colour pop. And you can add and add all the time with these pencils. It will always take on the colour. Unlike some pencils, um, it just won't let you do that. But these are beautiful pencils. I love his big, big eyes. They look so cute. So I've made this Christmas hat just out of a die set that I've got. And uh, I thought, oh, that would go nice with um, Bijou. And I'm going to have it on the tilt of his head so it hides my little um, accident. And nobody will ever know that I slipped with that um, ink and stamp. So I just don't like how that little bit there is um doesn't look quite finished. Um contemplating should I try and do a bit of freehand stamping, uh, but I've decided just to get my fine liner a pen again and just draw a little leaf in. And that's the beauty of these fine liners. You can add little bits that um, if you've not stamped correctly, you can add it in with your black fine liner pen. You can get them in different thicknesses as well. So it's not just like it is really fine. You can, um, the, the nibs um, are in different sizes. I haven't got them all. I've just got a fine liner pen. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Now I've cut my base out and my base card is six by six inches. And I've also cut out a red matte layer and uh, my matte layer is uh, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. My image layer, that is five and one eighth by five and one eighth. So I'm just using my Nouveau Quick Grab Glue 
just to get them all stuck down. And I'm just going to glue this down flat because um, if you need to post it, obviously we are conscious of postage and the thickness of the cards we make. So I'm not going to raise it up at all. I'm just going to um, glue it down flat. I'm just going to put some glue on the back of the Christmas hat. And pop that in position. Just to hide that little mistake. So as always, I'm doing a stability base for my card. So I'll just get my scoreboard out. That measures six by four, scoring at a half, two and three and a half. Give it a fold and burnish. And popping my glue down on those edges. So the front facing and the edge of the fold facing the front of the card bring the side back the back end back and it will just clip into place give that a press and a burnish with your bone folder and my sentiment will go on the back as always nice neat sides the card doesn't splay on the mantle or the side or wherever you put it, you know it's going to stay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm just looking at my uh, Nouveau drops. Now I'm not going to use everything, but I'm just pulling a few out just in case. So this one is called um, Caramel Cream and it's in the metallic crystal drops. So I'm just going to put a cluster of three just randomly all around that crescent.
And then this one is, uh, it's called Red Berry and that's in the crystal drops and it's the gloss ones. Just test it out on a piece of um, scrap paper first because sometimes it um, it gives a blob. Also, I've not used these for a while, so um, you do have to be careful as they do dry up a little bit. If you do find that you've made um, a little smudge with it, like I'm just getting my pokey tool, it will scrape off and um, go back in. If you take it back to the original um, circle that you've made, it, um, it it's, it's sort of magic. It disappears back into its original shape. I'm just doing another one. And I think that's enough with the Nouveau Drops. So if you like my tutorial, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching.